and the All-Ireland football semi-final is underway. Fermanagh's very first. Mayo have been here before. Maguire was his target. James Sherry going down on it bravely. And there's the first point. So Fermanagh drawing first blood. Marty McGrath. McGrath, they're playing with the wind. Remember, Little is in here. Mark Little for Fermanagh. Two points to no score. They just play with no fear. Colin Bradley was a sub that first day. Bradley making it difficult for Mora. Now he's got options inside. Will he need them? Not at all. Colin Bradley. They lead by three points to no score. Connor Mortimer, Trevor trying to get free. He's away from Barry Owens. Owens now back at him. Kieran McDonald. McDonald plays it into Trevor Mortimer. Connor's inside, goes at the fist. That'll do nicely for Mayo and they've drawn level. Their first point from play after 21 minutes. Trevor Mortimer completely free over here. Here's Connor. Oh, that's a really good point. Signs that Mayo are now really getting into that rhythm that has thrilled so many people over the course of the summer. Alan Dillon, back to McDonald. If they give him too much space, he'll destroy them. David Brady, up to David Heaney. What's the fullback doing up there? Old habits die hard for David Heaney. That's a fantastic point from David Heaney, the fullback. And that little wink says it all. Mayo are really getting into gear now. Colin Bradley. Bradley being watched by Gardner. Has that gone over? Yes, it has. Colin Bradley. The umpires behind that goal have been slow with the flag all day. Finally, we get a pass forward to Mark Little. Free runner inside is Eamon Maguire to bring them in. One, Maguire has done it. He's taken his point two in a row for Fermanagh. And they're back to within one point. This coming in stoppage time. 6-5 down, good score. Here they come trying to get level. Bradley looking for his third, he's got it. What a fantastic start to the second half for Colin Bradley and for Fermanagh. Three points, they've all been from play. And now James Gill was booked earlier on and he's collided yeah. with Stephen Maguire. They are about to lose James Gill. Absolutely nothing malicious about it. The ground and the conditions were as much to blame for that as anything. One of the cleanest players going. And again, very, very lucky. But the foul was there, round the neck. Bookable of offence. Yeah. Uh, another one a couple of minutes ago. Had to go, but most unlucky. I will put that down to ground conditions as much as anything Indeed. else, Cara. Well, this will really test Mayo's character. Something that well, people question, particularly moving into the last ten minutes of games. Liam McBarrett inside. McBarrett doesn't score many for Fermanagh. And he scored this one. What a time for Liam McBarrett to score. 11 minutes in. Loose ball. Here's Kieran McDonald. They need this to go over. It's ambitious and it's a wonderful score for Kieran McDonald. He turns to the crowd, wants them to get behind him. What a time level for the third time in this match. This is a fabulous score. It really is tense. Here's Conor Mortimer of Mayo for the lead. The 14-man side, and he's got it. Mortimer with his fourth point, his second from play. And the 14 men, well, do they believe they can get through to another All-Ireland final? They lead by nine to eight. Everything seems to be against them. Here's Eamon Maguire. If they can score here, if Brewster could do, he'd be a hero in Fermanagh forever. It's very high, it looks pretty good. Burke is under it, square ball. They had somebody inside the square. And there is the whistle, it's all over. Nine points apiece, it's finished. The weather certainly didn't help, but we've just seen a thrilling encounter between two sides who went at it from the very first minute.